here we study the wave nature of matter the wave nature of matter was introduced by the scientist de broglie and also we know that here there is wave nature and particle nature for the radiation the radiation is exhibiting the wave nature as well as a particle nature radiation exhibiting the wave nature during the phenomena interference diffraction polarization and uh, it is exhibiting the particle nature during the phenomena photoelectric effect and compton effects and also in our daily life means uh, whenever we are watching an object uh, during gathering and focusing the light uh, by the eye lens the light behaves as a wave whenever we are uh, whenever the eye lens is gathering the and focusing the light during these uh, the light behaves as a wave but whenever it is going to absorb by the rods and cones on the retina of the eye it uh, means light behaves as a made of, it is made up of particles means light is uh, exhibiting the here both the natures wave and uh, particle nature then the scientist de broglie got a doubt that if it is uh, possible for wave and particle nature for radiation then how could how it could not possible for matter also he studied that and also he concluded the particles of ma matter also having the wave nature whenever the particles of the matter are uh, propagating the exhibit the wave nature also here the wavelength the wavelength corresponding to the means the wavelength associated with the moving particles is given by according to him lambda is equal to h by small p it is the relation of the it is expression for the wavelength associated with the waves uh, of for the moving particles when moving particles uh, exhibiting the wave nature for the waves uh, the wavelength is given by lambda is equal to h by p and the waves which are associated with the moving particles are called here matter waves here lambda is the wavelength of matter waves here lambda is equal h by p h is the planck's constant and small p here momentum and it is a uh, given by h by mv lambda is equals to h by mv here lambda is the wavelength of the matter waves uh, and h is the planck's constant m is the mass of the particle and v is the velocity of the particle here and uh, here we studied already in the previous lesson in the atoms lesson that the wave nature is exhibited by the electron when it is orbiting in a particular orbit means uh, with the elementary particles like uh, electrons also there is wave nature electrons also exhibiting the wave nature these waves are called here matter waves for the matter waves the wavelength is given by the the scientist de broglie the scientist de broglie given relation for wavelength of uh, matter waves that is lambda is equals to h by mv now let us calculate let us take an example that for example there is an there is a body or there is a ball having the mass m is equals to suppose 0.12 kg and it is a traveling with a velocity 20 meter per second is there any wave associated with it yes there is wave associated with it we taken a body or a ball having mass 0.12 kg and it is moving with a velocity of 20 meter per second it is also made up of matter consisting of matter is there any matter wave associated with it as yes, matter wave associated with it now let us find a wavelength for the matter wave associated with this ball now according to de broglie the wavelength of matter wave is given by the formula lambda is equal to h by mv h by mv now lambda is equal h is the planck's constant the planck's constant value is 6.625 into 10 power minus 34 joule second here mass of the ball is 0.12 kg into velocity of